All right, welcome back to another tactical fly fisher video. In this video, I have another quick knot tying tutorial for you. Let me give you a quick bit of background. Um, a little over a year ago, I was out fishing with our uh, last shop manager, Kramer Bookman, and he'd been having a couple of frustrating trips recently where he was getting um, his rig breaking at his tippet knot where his dropper tag was when he was hooking large fish on that dropper tag. And he was getting pretty frustrated because he'd lost a few pretty good fish in the preceding couple of trips. And so he started uh, doing some research on knots he could use other than a double or a triple surgeon's knot for a dropper tag. And he came across uh, the figure of eight knot. And um, I think it's also called the Orvis tippet knot. At least when I've looked at diagrams side by side, they look pretty similar. So you might see it by other na uh, either name. But basically, Kramer got interested. He started using it, felt like it was stronger. So then he went home and did some side-by-side -side knot tests where he tied a you know surgeon's knot on one side, the figure of eight knot on the other, con connected them to the same piece of tippet, and just saw which one broke first. And originally he was going to do a pretty large sample size of you know at least 30 or more, that good old law of large numbers, uh, law of averages. But after 12 st straight uh, tests in a row where the surgeon's knot broke first before the figure of eight knot, he decided that was probably all the information he needed. So he switched over to the figure of eight knot for his dropper tag, and I uh, tried it myself over the next couple of trips, and sure enough, I liked it a lot more as well. It's very quick to tie and very strong. Um, and I've come up with just a couple of additions to it that help me tie it uh, quicker, more reliably, and also that uh, help me tie it specifically for use with the dropper tag knot. So this is my new favorite dropper tag knot. Um, I guess not too new at this point because I've been using it for over a year, but uh, I really like it and I hope you like it too. So give it a try, give it a tie and uh, report back and let me know how it works for you. Okay, let's get started on this uh, figure of eight dropper tag knot. So the orange here, this is the leader that's coming from your rod. This is what you're gonna make the dropper tag out of. The yellow is what you're adding to your leader. So this is already there. This is the tippet that you're adding to it. That is really important designation there. So pay close attention to that. You're not making the dropper tag out of the material you're adding to your leader. You're making it out of what's already coming so that it's in line with the leader at the end and pulls along with it instead of shearing the knot open. So get yourself, you know, six, eight inches, whatever you think you need for your dropper tag here. Pinch above the end of it, take your tippet that you're adding and pinch it as well on those fingers. Now, form a loop and you want the loop to go up, up facing up above your fingers. When I first tied this, I do my surgeon's knots down here and so that's where I um, started the loop, but I found it harder to get it to slide closed. I don't really know why, but it's, um, easier for me to form the loop up like this. Then all you do, stick your index finger in that loop and wrap once, twice, and it's important directionally that if you're looking down, it goes counterclockwise. So you need to go counterclockwise once, twice, then just reach your thumb and your index finger through and grab both tags, the dropper tag and the tippet, and pull them through. Now, you're gonna leave your thumb and index finger up here and pull on these with your right hand, if you're right-handed, and you're gonna let that knot close as it slips through your fingers, just like that. And then, with the backing, it might not close exactly how you want here, but you want that figure of eight shape before you pull all, all four tags. And there you go, that is the figure of eight knot. And now you're gonna use this long orange piece as your dropper tag. So don't cut that. Just cut the piece that's facing up your leader toward the rod. And now you have a dropper tag. That should work very well, it's very strong, it's very quick once you get 
used to tying it. And uh, I really hope it helps you out on the water. All right, thanks for watching this figure of eight dropper tag knot uh, tutorial. I hope that it's uh, something that you try out there on the water. And like I say, give me some feedback. Let me know how it works for you. For me, it has worked very well. I've noticed fewer breakoffs uh, at that position in my leader where the dropper tag is since I started using this. Um, give me that thumbs up on the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and then come on over to tacticalflyfisher.com. We've got whatever you need for the fly tying bench or your next trip to the river. Thanks again and uh, happy winter everybody. I hope you're still getting some river time in.